Welcome back everybody to the channel or welcome to the channel where we're going to jump into a new sandbox game here of Forest Ranger Simulator. So, I'm going to skip through a lot of the tutorial. Get the... Or hopefully I'm going to skip through it. Oh, we got to look through tool tips. Boom, we got to buy a bin I think. What did it say to buy anything? Garbage earn money thrown garbage, but careful because you put garbage in a container cigarette. You can buy one for Not the host stuff, it's necessities. Which one's the garbage? Oh gosh, I can't tell. Uh gosh. I think I already got one of those, don't I? Perfect. You know what? We dealt with the uh, thing, and then the next tutorial thing. You look, this is plastic metal, glass, mixed. Click on the thing, and it tells you what the thing does. Alright, next thing over here. This is where we can buy stuff, I'm guessing. Let's buy a flashlight. Yes. Now we just wait for it to be delivered. I think it'll be delivered tonight or something. So then I can pick up cardboard and carry it. Oh, actually, I just put that in my bag there. You see in the bottom left corner. Um, yeah, we can, like, it's sort of just, it's just a big old sort and garbage game. Uh, <laughs> so this is a game I was interested in because... I love the na nature and stuff, but, uh, all right, cool. This is plastic, plastic and metal, yeah, good. We're going to empty it into here. And we make money. We sort garbage, we make money. It's, uh, it's an alright game. Oh, and then some of this stuff, though, we don't, we could put that in, like, the electronics bin. But we could also sell this stuff and we'll make more money. And by putting it in here, we're gonna go to we can go to our computer and sell it. Uh what else do we got? Got another tool tip or whatever you call it. Uh you can press the Q as you've seen I did and it kinda highlights different things, so I can pick up all one sort of type of material as I clean the forest. Uh, no, that wasn't a thing. That costs money to do, though. Uh, I might have picked up the wrong things. Glass. Oh, well. You know what? I think I did. Oh, well. Yeah. So I'm making money, but that one thing I did sell was uh, the wrong thing. And we'll go ahead. I'm just going to keep picking up and throwing stuff in here. This game really appealed to me because uh, I wanted to. Uh, I just found it really, really la relaxing, but it's really repetitive. So I, I'm not sure if I'm going to play this. I did play it a bit, the demo. Uh, I wanted to try it out just to see what it was like. I'm glad I did. And, uh, oh, container, you learn what. Yeah, I know. Let's check out this tool tip question thing. To click a small trash bag into a bag, click on the left mouse button. You have to collect, for example, only plastic. Yeah, the garbage you're collecting should go. This sh initial segregation careful because it will put different types of garbage in one bag. It will turn gray. Unsegregated. Okay, yeah. So, ideally, like, you pick up all the same one thing and then you go and drop it into the container. Because if you put the wrong items in the container, then you lose the money. Sort of. Maybe obvious, maybe not. Alright, what's this saying? To put away the bag into which you're collecting garbage, click the right mouse button. Yep. 
It's not yet full. You can always pick it back up. Yeah, cool. Uh, let's see. There's quite a bit left. I think we'll do a little bit more, and then we'll sort of move on. So we can go, we collect all one sort of type, and then I can... Ah, see it's unsegregated? Yeah, I see all, a, lot of, a lot of stuff there that wasn't supposed to be in the same bag. We got this beehive. Let's go check out this other tutorial thing. Longer, larger garbage, you can buy one, I can buy a truck. Turned on. Headlights are turned on with F. Control fuel level tank. In the tank. Operating the car a lot. You have to expect it to break down. And there'll be parts that I can buy online. Purchase. Yeah, oh, this is like a, just a flag. We can move this wherever we want to mark certain particular areas. Here's our little abode. I was hoping. It, it doesn't appear, but I was hoping we could, you know, upgrade this place. I mean, you can buy items and stuff, but uh, it doesn't look like really anything functions. Or, you know, I'd like to be able to upgrade and have an upstairs. Because it looks like you, there's definitely a loft. Uh, but I haven't seen an option for that in the short time I play. The demo, they only allow you to play for 30 minutes, so I'm trying to rush through this. I uh, apologize for that. Oh, so let's go to our computer. We're going to say we're going to sell. We're going to auction all those items I put in there. And then we'll get more more money by doing that uh, than putting them in the correct disposal bins. All right, we got another... Tutorial marker. Let's check it out. Some trash is so large it won't fit in a bag. So, okay, so you've seen I've been picking up some stuff and it wouldn't fit in a bag. Some items you have to, and yeah, instead of dumping it, you can sell them on the online auctions, just like I showed you. All right, and this is going to show us here. You can bring these items into here and sell it online. They're highlighted green. An item sells. I'll be informed by a message in the upper left or right corner. Uh, we got this outhouse. I never did check it out last time. Alright. Uh, just decoration. Makes sense, right? Let's see. What else do we have for tutorials? Oh, uh, we got the fire extinguisher. So if something happens, we can grab this fire extinguisher and go put it, as you see, in the top left corner. Also, as you can see, so I can buy these markers and then I can place them down and it'll, like, when I get my beehive moved over, it'll be a landmark to help me find it in the future. And here we got some bird seed. So we're going to go ahead and grab that bird seed. And something that'll... Boom, let's add the bird seed. Uh, press E. There we go. Okay. By making the feeding the birds, uh, I'm not sure what we get exactly. Oh, I didn't even notice these tires on the roof. Uh, but by having those birds fed up in the top right there, you can see the middle uh, bar as that goes up it's you know some kind of points so we can get uh, well something I'm not sure here you'll pick up the purchases so oh there's our torch it did arrive we put that in our inventory and now we have a flashlight for at night because it gets dark as heck really dark like I said here's our beehive we're gonna go ahead and move this bad boy so we can Oh, that's what that noise was. We just sold the lamp for a dollar fifty. Not a lot of money, but it's better money than what it was. So we're gonna take this beehive, and if I go here, M, 
Uh, we're gonna walk over to here. This is the only, actually, this is the only area. Garbage. Yeah, flower areas. So we're gonna put our beehive over here. Because bees obviously are gonna want flowers. Or not, uh, fl yeah, flowers. So let's book it over. Can't cross water, can't go in water. So we gotta make sure we go around. Or over the bridges or whatever. We're gonna cross this bridge, and then I don't think we cross this one. I think we turn right here. Yeah. So we got a bunch of flowers. We got the bee symbol. We're gonna place our beehive down, and to my understanding, as time goes on, we'll be able to recover honey from that. I just uh, find this game just so relaxing. What I do find though, it's very limited in uh, playability though. So I'm not sure how much I want to uh, really invest in this. Time and money. I, I just don't feel... I've never been over here. Um, I don't feel that it's worthwhile. So let's go check it out though. Alright, we're gonna check our map. Where are we? We're right here. It's very peaceful. I don't think there's any really enemies or wildlife out there that's gonna kill us. Uh, all I've seen for wildlife when I played the first time was deer. Uh, I know that there's like the sound of wolves or something in the intro, but I, I don't, I haven't heard any, and I haven't seen any. That's for certain. Am I gonna be able to cross that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. See, this is the end of the map. I would say, which makes sense. There's the highway. And the map is kind of small, considering considering we started here, and it only, it's only taken us a couple minutes to be up here. The map is pretty legit small. All this water area, you're not going to be able to access. You have to go, like, certain ways around it. So I just, I'm not overly impressed. Again, okay, I can't climb there. Invisible wall must be the, uh, oh. Yeah, and I can't cross there. I have to go across the log bridge. <clears throat> oh, I got a tutorial thing up ahead. Let's go check that out. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Very peaceful. I just wish they had the map was a bigger. So there was more to explore, more to do. Because so I find, you know, this 30 minute, you kind of, you, you get the gist of it. Unless you like sword and garbage. I don't know. You can, you know, you can save up and buy a vehicle. Uh, more dumpsters and stuff, but that doesn't seem, that doesn't really appeal to me. I'd like to be able to save up, expand the the cabin or whatever that I live in, uh, or upgrade, even upgrade the vehicles, or I don't know, something. Uh, see, I can't cross this water, so now I gotta go all the way up or downstream till I find something. Even though that's a very small brook, river, whatever you want to call it. So that's kind of annoying. Like, I'm a forest ranger. You, you telling me I wouldn't just walk through that? You don't hunt. You don't have guns. Uh, oh yeah. So, the, but you get you got you got all these like just piles of garbage everywhere. And that, your job is to go around and clean the forest. And as you keep the forest clean, you get 
those bars go up. Oh, and there's bear uh, bear traps. As you find bear traps and deactivate them, you can sell them for scrap. I mean, I think you get like, I don't know, two bucks or something per trap. There's garbage. You can see garbage over there. That's a bag, actually, of sorted because it's one color. It's not gray. So we could grab that and take it right to a dumpster and kind of make, make a, I don't know, however much money that would be. Alright, let's go over here. Oh, tutorial thing, back at the house. Like Ranch Simulator, the ranch was bigger than this, I felt like. And, uh, I don't know. And that's sort of peaceful too, right? Oh, what's this saying? You can pick up an item and, uh, rotate it. See the positions of the object vertically. Ooh, okay. So. Uh, let's go put this bag of feed in, because that, that might be messing with my hands. I'm able to pick that up or something. I don't know. You know what? I, I don't know what's going on. Why can't I set this down or anything? Yeah, so that tells me we can move our honey hive, uh, clearing full of flowers, preferably as close to the possible the bees' nest. Look for some such places in the field. Look for old branches. Oh, I should have went till uh, the bee thing showed full. Uh, look for old branches and swarms of bees. If you get close to them, you'll definitely hear them on. Only in such places. Will the hive produce honey, which in the form of a jar you can take and sell at auction. The hives are sometimes destroyed by wild animals. Use a hammer to repair them. And of course you can buy a hammer on the computer. Yeah, so, I mean, this is sort of the gist of it. Go around, sort garbage. I can't even, I don't think I can move these bins to arrange it to, you know, my liking. It's just they, they're there. They're sort of just there. Um, can I pick this up? Why can't I pick this up? Darn it! I can't put the feed down. Uh, let's see. Buy a steel crowbar. Yes, and put the. It's already starting to get dark. And then I can put uh, the. Oh, now I can pick stuff up. Why well, can I pick this up now? Yeah. Blue. So it's a blue bag. I don't have a blue bin though. So I drop it into one of those. I'm gonna lose money. What I can do is I can buy that crowbar. Necessities, crowbar, yeah. Just wait for the courier to deliver it. Okay. So it'll show up sometime. Okay, now I can pick this up. Spin this around. I'm using my mouse wheel. And set it down. Just like that. We'll use our uh, whatever. So that's blue garbage. Uh, what's what is this? I can't tell if that's that's the problem. I'm colorblind too, so trying to tell the difference between um, I think it's these two colors. Yeah, I, I know I can look at the to figure out what goes in there. You may get lucky and get a colored bag. Yeah, it's not lucky enough that it's. That it will go in somewhere. Ah, this is a tutorial to tell me about the bird feeders. Set up bird feeders in different spots. Get an additional $120 from Save the Forest Foundation for feeding the birds. 
So doing good things for the forest, you get you get paid. You get payouts or whatever. Lake down here. You can't fish. And I can't I can't go in the water at all. I mean there's a little bridge there. But uh yeah. I haven't been over here. I'm gonna see if I can get up I don't I can this is probably place where they're not going to allow us to get to. Oh, crowbar showed up. Let's take our crowbar. That way while we're out here, we got maybe 10 minutes left of this. Uh, congratulations, you have completed the tutorial. Now you take forest as a reminder, control legend is F1. Cool. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, perfect. Take my crowbar. Well, let's go. Nothing popping up on the map showing a bear trap. So let's go exploring. I haven't been up in that northern area where the uh, white part is. And I'd like to see if I can actually step foot on that or if that's just a barrier. So let's go for a stroll. The forest gets crazy dark, as you can see. Like, that's without the flashlight on. Just, well, pretty much just like real life, if you've ever been in the forest. Okay, let's keep traveling this way. Southeast and then south. Really hard to f see. You can adjust the day and night cycle. So if you're not happy with how long the night is, in the settings, oh. Can't believe I made it down there. Okay, let's go. Actually, we're gonna go. Turn around. Right, right, left. Okay. I I think that snowy looking area is just these rocks. Yeah, that's all it is. Actually, I can tell. Cause it's the same as that. But uh, again, I haven't been up here, so we're gonna go explore up here follow this path. Oh, is it coming daylight again already? It might be. I do have it like uh, set to like 20 minutes. I'm curious what's over here. 20 minutes day and 10 minutes night. So obviously we can't get in there. Beautiful waterfall. But yeah. Out of zone. Out of area. So let's see if we can't book it up this trail or this road. If we had a vehicle, obviously we'd be able to burn it around. Oh, what's this? Oh, I've never seen one of them. What is that? I don't know. Uh, is that a? I don't. I don't. I don't know to be honest with you. No idea what that is. I recognize like I've seen it before, like. Oh, there's a deer. Little baby deer. It's got spots. Again, uh, water, so we can't go there. How far are we now? We're along the edge of the map, I would say. beautiful relaxing game I love the sounds I love just being able to explore the nature but it's tiny like we've explored most of the map half an hour we've seen most of the map you know and what do you have you got you'll have bear traps to go de tra you know de set and then sell you got the odd fire excuse me that you grab your extinguisher and go put out and you got a lot of garbage that's that's what this game is just kind of take care of the forest as a forest ranger which you know I just wish there was more to do I wish there was more in depth I can't see 
Right now it's about 20 bucks Canadian. This game came out in April, and I just can't justify spending the money. I just can't. It's not a $20 game, in my opinion. Well, there's another deer. Might be a full-grown one. No, it's got spots. Little baby deer. And it just ran through the... Oh, no. Okay, it didn't run it through the wall, per se. Let me know what you think in the comments, though. Would you buy this game? Uh, and... If you are interested, it is on Steam. This is just the demo. Yeah, see a big pile of garbage. We could bring our truck up and stuff and collect bags and stuff, but eh. That's, that would get so repetitive and so boring after a while. Like, give me a broom to sweep it up or something. I don't know. And here we are. That So we just came down this path here, I think. We've so we've been across here. Here we didn't explore this corner. When I played the de the demo, uh, but without recording, I explored over here a bit. But it's just it's a tiny, tiny map, and I don't know. It just uh, a lot of potential. The reviews are mixed. Uh, I. I I personally wouldn't recommend getting it at this point. The, the developer's got to do a lot more with this game. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. That feature. Natural rock bridge. Or, yeah. Then we can come down here. Lots of twisty, twit, turny roads. But, uh... What do you think? It'd be kind of cool, like, if we were, like, you know, if you're a park ranger, you could go around and there would be people, you'd be like, hey, you're not allowed to be fishing here. Or you go and check their licenses, check them, make sure they're only keeping... What is that noise? Is that supposed to be frogs? Yeah, we could, like, enforce uh, the fishing regulations and stuff like that. Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah. It's like a uh, whole other area for garbage. And it's got different color bins. Select col a collection of municipal weight electronics. I don't know what this means. Paper mixed. I didn't see this last time, glass plastic. So you just take the items and chuck it in here, or do you buy bins and they end up there? Let's try, uh, which one's plastic? Uh, was it this one? It's glass plastic. I don't know, I think I gotta buy a bin and get them placed there or something. What a disgusting place, though, right? I mean, ooh, a level. Nice. That's something I can keep. That's probably something I could sell, though. You know, probably make $2 out of it. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Pretty good graphics, considering. Like... It's not out of this world, the best graphics I've ever seen, but, you know, you could, you could sit here and get lost. The lighting and stuff is really good, and just the ambient sounds. I really love it. It's very relaxing. Uh, if it, if, uh, if I wanted something like that, it'd be worth, worth purchasing. Like I said, it was 20 bucks Canadian. I don't know what it is where you are. Um. Yeah. Let's burn it up here, see what we can find. Where are we? Is the sun going down or? No, it must be coming up. 
It's just weird because it gets like pitch black and then it gets light out like the moon. Yeah, now it's getting darker again as the moon comes down and then the sun's going to come back up, I would say. I didn't find any bear traps, but if you do, it's it's kind of, you know, generic boring. You, you use your crow, pull your crowbar out, set the trap off, I think, whatever, and then you have to manually carry it. That's annoying, but... Ooh, look at that. Those lights. Where are those lights coming from? So that, to me, that's what makes this game. The graphics and just the... Oh, it's the highway. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That's the street lights. There's the fence. We can't go any further that way. Bam! And now the sun's coming up. Oh, we got some more refuse bin containers, paper mixed. Bam. See? That's the end of the demo. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. Thanks for coming along. I appreciate every, each and every one of you. Thank you for subscribing. I love you all. Till next time, take care, everybody, and stay safe.